Hello, and welcome to an introduction to the SQ interface. All SQ products share the same interface with additional applications, tools and hardware added for the more advanced products. To start a product, double-click on the red and white Q icon. You may or may not see the log appear in the background. This is the program checking configured settings such as license options, storage or server connections. Once the program has started, you will see the screen fill with a grey desktop with a purple application taskbar at the bottom of the screen. The taskbar will display different options depending on which product you are using. Starting from the left, Desk turns the desktop on and off. With no clips on the desktop, you will not see a difference, but when you start working with clips, you'll be able to hide them when working in other applications. There's a subtle difference in the two sets of grey boxes on the left of the taskbar. Grey boxes with square corners are applications and are used to access different parts of the program, for example I.O. for locally importing and exporting clips. You may have many or no application boxes depending on what product you are using. The application boxes turn pink when activated. You will find many places like this where pink is on and grey is off. Think of applications as you would standard Windows products like Word or Excel. They provide tool sets to create different functions, but do not contain media. Your media lives in the bins, which are at the end of the square boxes after a small gap. Bins have round corners and are used to access all media. For example, clips for locally held material and server to access shared server storage. Additional bins will appear and disappear depending on which application you are currently using. These are pale blue when active and grey when minimised. At the right of the taskbar, you will again have different options based on the product you are using. The one common to all products is at the far right, where you will find an ORD button. Once again, colours are very important, and this is another example of pink representing active or on, and grey off. In this case, clicking on ORD and making it grey will mute the audio output. If you cannot hear the output sound at any point, this is one of the first buttons you should check to make sure it's on. You should also make sure your Windows audio is not muted, as this will also affect output. On the keyboard, using the Windows Start button and D will take you back to the Windows desktop, so you can check the audio output settings. Use Alt and Tab to return to the program, or click on the Minimize program at the bottom of the screen. You may also have buttons to control video output, aspect ratio or other options. Most server-connected products are preset, and most post-production products are not, so these functions are covered in tutorials where required. This includes the LUT or lookup tables used in colour grading. Dark blue boxes provide information only, so clicking on them won't do anything. If there's more than one language or keyboard setting active in Windows, an indication of the current setting will display here, for example EN-GB, for English language with a British keyboard layout. Use Alt and Shift to toggle between active language and keyboard settings. If there's only one language active, there will be no box here. There is no cross at the top right hand corner of the screen, so to shut down the program, hold down Ctrl and press F9. If you need to restart the program rather than shut down, it's Ctrl F5.